Hi YouTube, my name is M. Lee, and I'm a hoarder. It's like, now I'm just playing, but um, it does feel like that sometimes when I look at my freaking closet and I see just a wall and a full shelf full of just boxes. This is my collections video, and this is a collections video of mostly electronic boxes I collected throughout the years and stuff like that. I have a bad habit. I don't know if it's a bad habit, actually, because um, it's always good to keep your boxes to certain electronics. Like, for example, your TV. I recommend you never getting rid of your, your uh, TV box because if some, something's wrong with it and you want to send it back to the store or back to the manufacturer, you can't if you do not got the box. It don't matter if it's strictly 110% their fault. You can't send anything back as far as a TV, most indefinitely, if you don't have the box. So, ever since... That rule, I've been keeping a box to a lot of my stuff, as you can see. I got boxes inside of boxes inside of boxes. So I'm going to try and go through this stuff as best as I can. Um, for the record, I didn't get all this stuff at once. Like a lot of people think when they come to my house, they look at all my stuff like, damn, dude, you're rich. You got all this shit at once. No, I didn't. It took a lot of grinding, a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of patience, and a lot of tears. So kiss my ass. Anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll start from, from the big daddy right here. This is this this is officially like my 14th HD TV I purchased or actually my 12th I think because I don't keep my TVs more than a year I sell my TVs every 6 months to a year this is the longest I ever had an HD TV um cuz this is my baby right here the Sony Bravia 3D 46 inch the bad boy is the beast um but this is the longest I ever had a TV and I might not ever get rid of this TV so um and the reason I sell my TVs is to get the better one and you know the to put the difference up with the with the next better TV and then next year I pay the difference, sell that TV, pay the difference for a better end TV. So that's how I built up to this bad boy. I just kept on building up the difference and stuff. So yeah. So Bravia. This is my battery grip. You know, you can see this unboxing on my hobby channel. Most of this electronics is on my hobby channel. I don't do this the electronic stuff on my gaming channel. I stopped that about a year ago my i5 processor uh, this is the i5 2500k the bad boy's a beast this is my mat box to my shoulder rig I got a while back not a while back but you know this is my Black Widow power supply box I had this ever since I first built my PC and I upgraded parts and I still got this power supply inside there and it's still kicking handling both my uh, graphics cards both uh, my uh, processor and all that stuff and I got stuff inside of here. You know, this is where I keep all my little extra parts at. You know, RAM and stuff like that. And I don't think that's no more good. That's why I got inside here. Extra cords and, and, and SATA cables and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm on. Um, this is my first motherboard, the Intel Extreme Series. Everybody always asks me, why did I go with Intel? I said, I'll be saying, well, why the hell not go with Intel for a gaming PC? I mean, they're good. I know people, most most people go with Asus or Asus, whatever you say that. I think it's all, that's also uh, owned by Intel, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is the DP45SG motherboard. I gave that to my brother. And this also got stuff inside here. Yeah, receipts. You know, um, so set that down here. This is the motherboard I got inside my PC right now, which is the upgrade from that one to this one, the DP67BG. Uh, supports i7 processors, but I got an i5. It also supports i5. So uh, why does it not open it? But I got extra parts inside here and stuff, say the cables and, and screws and stuff like that. So yeah, this is my Logitech uh, little Dest, Dest, what the hell I'm saying, Dest. Desk is not spelled with a T at the end. Desk, little uh, lap desk. So, uh, yeah, I still use this. I'm using that actually as we speak. Um, my Sunpack Flash. This is my third PS3. My first PS3, I got it just to play Metal Gear Solid 4. Played Metal Gear Solid 4, played a little bit of Uncharted, played a little bit of Resistance, and after that, I stopped playing my PS3 for like five months. So, my. So my no, I traded my PS3 for a crap load of 360 games and a PSP and a crap load of PSP games, and then I got another PS PS3 and then I had uh, I forgot why I got rid of that one, but I traded it for two RC two Nitro RC cars, a Traxxas truck, and a Traxxas buggy. I think I was trying to get back into uh, RC Nitro RC, so that's why. This is the unboxing of that. Got that yesterday or the day before yesterday. One of those I home little you know notebook little desk thing you know 
little media center. Um, this is my mode of my purchase after my other one when I moved here magically got disappeared magically disappeared a lot of my stuff like six or seven of my things disappeared when I moved here but um I already know who did it but I ain't gonna say nothing though the god already dealing with them but anyways yeah uh so this bad boy is a beast right here uh wi-fi and everything um the highest speeds that you can even get from any modem um gaming enabled and you know it's a modem slash router so this bad boy kicks ass this is my uh, camera I had got. You guys probably, I'm using it right now, as a matter of fact. Um, you guys probably didn't know I got another camera, but I did. It's on my hobby channel, if you subscribe to that. Um, this is the Ivis HFG10, which is exactly the same as the Vixia HFG10, except for this is $400 cheaper if you import it from Japan. Yeah, man. I um, already did this stuff. I'm trying to hurry up, because I'm not trying to make this video super long. You know, the last few videos been hella long. Um, this is the Belkin. Damn it, you can't hold on to nothing. I'm not, least, not about to ever get back into football. Can't hold on to the damn box. Anyways, um, it's the Belkin uh, little disc uh, memory card reader. It reads all kind of memory, micro SD, um, a lot of stuff. So, yeah, this is my Triton AX720 headphones and stuff like that. I still get comments and views on that video to this day. You know, I'm always getting comments on that video. And it's been like a year and a half ago since I made this video. Or a year ago, not that long ago, about a year. So yeah, I'm still using these and these still work. Even though reviews out there say they don't last past three months. They get broken and stuff. I still use them. I use them every single day. Just about. This is my Rode mic. You know, it came just like this. No plastic around it whatsoever. I was like, what the hell is this, man? Like, no plastic. Like, it just like it's used. So, uh, my Rode mic. It got some stuff inside here, too. I think some stickers and stuff. Don't forget it. Open it up. iPhone 5 box. Don't be hating. I'm about to sell my iPhone 5 though when my contract is over and get get back into uh what you call it back into uh Samsung phones for five reasons. Anyways, um, follow focus. You know, for my uh, shoulder rig. This is my uh, external hard drive, which I'm gonna buy another one, a one terabyte one. This is a 250 gigabyte. Uh, external hard drive and um, USB 3.0 I just use this to back up uh, my game saves and um, projects I'm working for working on for people and stuff like that if I don't want to lose it you know right when I get home I back it up to my computer and to my uh, external hard drive this is my photo printer if you do photography and just buy this. Like, if you if you're a photographer, buy it. Even if you are like a not like a pro photographer, just a family. You just want to shoot your kids and stuff like that. Not shoot like that, but that's what you call it when you're taking pictures. When you if you want to shoot your kids and stuff and having fun on vacations, buy this. Like, this is the uh, Sophie. What what bottom number is this? CP eight hundred. You know, buy this. This is worth it. The pictures come out like just amazing. Like way, basically better or similar to the pictures you get from the mall. And I was surprised. I'm like, damn, people pay all that money for the pictures at the mall, and you can get the same exact quality from this. The only thing is, this only prints out four by six. But you also have the option of printing out uh, wallet sizes and stuff like that that you can cut and stuff. So, man, it's it's ill. It's nice. Like the pictures come out super clear. Um, super slim USB housing for. I mean, super slim. Yeah, USB 2.0. You know, external, so you can use your Super Drive from your MacBook Pro. I'm still dropping stuff. Oh my God, uh, Super Drive for your MacBook Pro and stuff like that externally, but 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 it doesn't work because Macs are stupid when it comes to uh, simple things like that. If this was a Windows PC, all you would have to do is just plug it up to the to the computer, and it automatically searches for searches for the drivers and oh, your device is ready to use. But for this crap. I went through a lot of stuff trying to get this to work, going to the database on my computer and 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 input and, and enabling certain codes and and all kind of crazy stuff you had to do, and it still didn't work. So whatever. All right, so this is my Windows 7 Home Premium software I purchased when I first built my gaming PC. Spent 200 bucks on this. A lot of people ask me every single time I mention that, why did you buy it? You could have got it for free. I don't pirate stuff unless I really have to. I'm not a thief. And like I said, unless I really have to pirate something, like I had to pirate uh, Sony Vegas Pro 11 because I didn't know that my computer or my software couldn't handle the T3i files when I had Sony Vegas 9. 
and then uh, so I had got the free trial of Pro 11 and it ran out before I got to finish my project or whatever and I went ahead and pirated it or it ran out by the time I got into my next project and you know I just I didn't have 600 bucks man so like I just had to pirate it. that's the only way I could have got my work done so yeah anyway this is my gaming uh, desktop keyboard I'm thinking about getting another one but uh, Razer is a beast when it comes to their stuff their gaming stuff so um, this is my Sigma uh, lens box right here got this bad boy a while back you guys seen a, should seen the unboxing on my I think it was on my hobby channel um, yeah this is like the most expensive thing I got for my camera so far more expensive than my camera itself this lens almost cost 800 bucks so uh, right now it costs about 600 bucks um, the Razer Death Adder mouse you know this bad boy's a beast this is also something that had got stolen when I first moved here ah, are in the process of moving here damn it hold on to the box Hirsch it's kind of slick that's why anyways <laughs> dang uh, so yeah, this is this is this is my baby right here. It's, it's you know how sometimes you use something and you're scared to try something else because that one is just so good. That's what this mouse is like. I'm scared to try a different mouse because this bad boy is just so damn good and so smooth. So it's like damn. Um, this is RC car box I got for Christmas. You know, this is the one I got, not the nitro version, the electric version. And it's pretty good price. It's like 104 bucks on Amazon. And it's a real good RC car actually come with some uh, aluminum uh, some aluminum parts and it's rarely you hardly ever see that when you buy a RC car like the stock parts being aluminum usually you, have to, you gotta buy most of those parts separately so here's my Canon box that my used T3i came inside and you see more boxes inside this box you got the iPhone 4 box right here you know you got the Polaroid filters you got the blu-ray uh, reader burner you got my 50 millimeter lens from Canon you got you know my my uh, eyepiece extender. You got books. You got what else you got inside here? What's this? Something lens hood. You know what else? There's something else down here. My uh, Fotiv battery. You know for my T3i. You know all kind of knickknack stuff. My Xbox 360 Elite I brought about four years ago. You know four or five years ago. You know, upgraded from my white 360. I was happy when I got this bad boy, man. So, uh, yeah, so I hear we got some stuff. I think some receipts. I know, just some gaming stuff. You know, some of my gaming stuff. Don't judge me. When I first brought a DS, my first time ever buying a DS, I did not know anything about R4. I didn't know what the hell it was. All I know is I was trying to buy a DS. As one guy said, it came with an R4 uh, card and it came with a lot of games on it. I didn't know what the hell it was. I didn't know it was illegal, so don't judge me. I was like, it's like, no, nah, I didn't know, but I didn't know what the heck this was, though. I just, just wanted the DS. I didn't care about, you know, what the hell this was. And then I started playing the games. I'm like, damn, it's got a lot of games on it. And then I started looking up on it on YouTube. I'm like, oh, this is illegal. Okay, okay. So, um, yeah. Well, it's not illegal if you actually own the physical copies of the game, but 99% of people don't own the damn physical, physical copies that be uh, getting the R4 card and stuff like that. My 3DS box right here, you know, um... Got some old parts inside there for my old DS's and stuff. I customized my uh, DS. And this is my creative recreation box that my shoes came inside. And this also got some PC parts inside there, which I'm not going to really go through. But it got some, you know, sound cards and stuff. And USB cards or, you know, extra USB uh, stuff. And this is my MacBook Pro box I brought. Or my MacBook Pro, but this is the box that came with it, of course. Um, I got this on uh, Amazon. I'm not on Amazon, but on uh, Craigslist. You know, real good buy. I got it for eight hundred and something dollars. And um, down here, finish this video off. Got the Philips surround sound I purchased, upgraded from my old Philips surround sound I had for a while. You now I'm coming with a 3D Blu-ray uh, player, which I don't ever use. I always use my PS3 anyway, so doesn't matter to me. And my Samsung 22-inch TV box which I still got I'm thinking about selling it for like 120 bucks so um yeah and this is my fat farm shoe box which got my gaming receipts inside of it you know and if you say your boy ain't a gamer then just made a disclaimer because your boy's a motherfucking gamer 
So I, <laughs> this is this is all gaming receipts, man. It's like over like thousands. I wouldn't say thousands. I say hundreds, but leading up to like a thousand something receipts. So this is ridiculous. Ever since like EB games and game crazies and stuff, and yeah. So um, yeah, man. I got a collections video on my gaming receipts too. So yeah. Um, Days of Thunder, based off the movie. This is the RC track, and that's actually right there. Yeah. So still got the, I got this from the Goodwill. Oh uh, yeah, I shop at the Goodwill. I'm, I'm not afraid to say. I'll tell you guys all day, every day. Yes, I shop at the thrift store. I go to the Goodwill every once in a while. Yes, I do. And I ain't talking about for clothes. Hell no. I'm talking about for like, like this little stuff. This is another box with some PC stuff. Very highly recommended uh, memory card right here. This bad boy is super expensive. The, the price is going down on these though. But uh, SanDisk or SunDisk Extreme Pro memory cards. I'm telling you, worth it. Um, an old power supply from a regular computer. This is another box that got stuff inside the box, within the box, within the box, within the box. Um, set this up here. So we got my 3D glasses, you know, boxes that came when I first got my TV. I was so happy. Um, 3D glasses, boxes, um, my Zoom, which I got stolen about almost a year ago, out of my car. Some way, somehow, I don't know. They didn't steal nothing else but my Zoom. Oh no, they ain't the Zoom that got stolen. This is my old Zoom. This is my old Zoom box. Actually, no, this wasn't even mine. This is Zoom I got for somebody else. This is my Zoom that I got stolen. My Zoom HD, which I love. I, Zoom was super underrated because everybody's trying to compare it to the iPod and stuff and, and the iPhone and, and all that. But the Zoom was good. Hella good, in my opinion. Um. Ready on 5770s, both my graphics card boxes right here, you know, super overpowered graphics cards, you know, these graphics card cards still stand the test of time, and people try and make reasons why the 5770s aren't good no more because they're so old, but tell me why I'm playing battle games like Battlefield on, at max settings with both of these in Crossfire, getting 65 frames per second, games like Far Cry 3 getting 45 frames per second on high, not ultra, but hey, even high with some... How old are these graphics cards? I got these. This, these are like old. These are I'm telling you. You know, so um, and this is the box with um, my PS Vita stuff. So yeah, um, you know, this is when I first got my PS Vita. You know, I was happy. The headphones box and stuff like that. So yeah, man. Um, PS Vita box right there. So, uh, yeah, that said, I get to clean all the stuff up while you guys get to uh, watch the video <laughs> and just enjoy the time it takes f for it to go from here to your eyes, which is in no time for you guys, but for me, it's like five or six hours. I got to clean all the stuff up, edit, and then render it, and upload, and that takes time. That said, man, it's been your boy, Noob Side, about the Universal Gamer, and I'm out of here. Peace.